morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're tuning into this channel across the world. Welcome to Afri's Concept TV and thank you for tuning into this channel. The news headline Good news for Peter Obi as Tinubu APC lawyers lose in court. See what happened. Kindly um, listen to the news to the end. The news details. The presidential election petition court dealt a blow to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and the All Progressive Congress as their attempt to halt the petition filed by Allied People's Movement challenging Tinubu's qualification for the February 25, 2023 presidential election was rejected on Monday. The move led by Tinubu's lead counsel, Chief Wale Olanikbeku, SCN, aimed to utilize a Supreme Court judgment from May 26, 2023 to dismiss the APM's petition. However, the request was turned down by the PEPC. Tinubu argued that the Supreme Court had already resolved the main issue raised in APM's petition in a separate case brought by the People's Democratic Party. He sought to invoke the spirit and content of the Supreme Court judgment to pre prevent the APM's petition from proceeding. Nonetheless, the presiding justice of the court, Justice Arano Simon Samani, disagreed with Tinubu's argument and emphasized the importance of fair hearing, stating that the party should not be denied the opportunity to present its case. Justice Samani advised Tinubu to reserve his objections regarding the hearing of the petition for the final address stage of court's proceedings. The APC also raised similar objections through its counsel, Charles Edosomoen San, but their arguments were also dismissed by the PEPC on the grounds of fair hearing. The APM's lawyer, Mr. Gideon Ijiagbonya, informed the court that they had received the Supreme Court judgment that Sinubu and the APC sought to employ in, in terminating the petition. After thoroughly examining the judgment, Iji Agbonya and his legal team concluded that the petition still had merit and requested for it to be heard. However, he requested an adjournment until June 26 to obtain a crucial document from the Independent National Electoral Commission to strengthen their case. Justice Samani rejected the request for a week-long adjournment and scheduled a hearing of the petition for Wednesday, June 21. The court's decision to deny the attempts by Tinubu and the APC to halt the proceedings and the rejection of their objections underscored the importance of allowing the APM to present its case and be given a fair chance to be heard. This development, this APM's determination to challenge Tinobu's qualification and the court refusal to dismiss their petition indicates that the matter will be thoroughly examined and all parties involved will have the opportunity to present their arguments and evidence. So um, about the tribunal that is still ongoing, um, we know that a case cases were filed by Peter Obi, the Labour Party, Atiku and the PDP. So um, presently, another case was filed by the APM um, political party. So another case was filed by them, and the 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 APM is actually known as the Allied People's Movement. So the case filed was that 
Um, they challenged Tinubu's qualification for the February 25, 2023 presidential election. That was the case they actually filed in court on Monday. But um, the Tinubu's lead counsel, Shifoliola Nipekun, has said that the Supreme Court should dismiss the APM's petition. Why? Because he said that um, it's related to the same petition that the PDP actually filed to, and that the the court has already attended to that already. So there's no need going back. But funny enough, the uh, five led panel, um, the five led panel jo- um, judge led by Justice Samani, actually um, disagreed with Tinubu and the APC's um, arguments and emphasized the importance of fear hearing. So, um, Samani said that they've dealt with this with the PDP. Yes, he knows. But everybody has the right to fear hearing. Like, everybody should be given the chance to talk, even if the case has been um, handled before. But leave them to present their case and don't, let, don't deny them the opportunity of presenting their case. So, um, Justice Amani also advised Tinubu and his lawyers that they should um, reserve their objection re- um, regarding the hearing of the petition for the final stage of the court proceedings that for now, there's nothing they can do about it. And that's true. These people too have the right to, to be able to talk or file a case. So, why is, why is um, APC and um, Tinubu, why are they uh, asking the court to dismiss such... Um, such uh, such petition why are they asking them to do so so um so the uh, their argument um was actually dismissed by the presidential election petition courts on the grounds of fear hearing that they don't have anything to say and the APA, uh, apm must actually go ahead so the apm lawyer mr gideon Ijagbonya, has informed the courts that they actually need to um so they, they they need an adjournment till June 26 so that they can get crucial documents. I feel that they should have actually done this before coming to the courts, but um, there there might be exceptions and something might have come up. So they asked the court to give them more um, June 26 to be able to get some information from INEC. But the court has actually said that that uh, June 26 is a very long time and they cannot be granted that um, long period so the court actually gave them to june 21 to adjourn to adjourn the case and get whatever information they want to get what's your view concerning this news with all you've heard what can you say about this kindly share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to like and share and also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates we've come to the end of today's news thank you for listening to the end